Hi, my name is Jada Minter. I am a graduating senior from William Floyd High School in Long Island, New York. My grandparents, Joan and Richie Hanna, live in the villages along with many of their friends who I consider family. In August, I will be heading off to Johnson & Wales University in Providence, Rhode Island, to showcase how I sparkle by pursuing my passion through their culinary arts program. After reading your acronym, I Sparkle, it hit home to me. My story might be a little different than others. As a middle school student, I struggled to find my place, to fit in with the crowd. My kindness and generosity were taken advantage of. I began to change who I was in order to be accepted. I wasn't black enough for some, not white enough for others, too smart, not smart enough. I felt like I was alone. This continued throughout high school, causing me to suffer from anxiety and depression, sinking into the black hole of my bedroom, not wanting anything to do with society. Last year, I was able to overcome a lot by being accepted into a culinary arts program. I began to see the light at the end of my tunnel and found passion in therapy and cooking. I learned to be strong and proud of myself, express myself, and I learned to be me. Though all I went through, I know there were others like me who were struggling, hence why I'm applying for this scholarship. In our program, I began to work with students who others didn't want just because they might have been a little different. It was, it was in my heart to make them feel included and teach them to find their passions, protect them, and don't let others take them away. As teenagers nowadays, we try to act like the others around us want us, and we try to act a certain way, but in the process, we don't focus on ourselves. I did this for many years. We need to support one another we are all unique individuals who all have a gift to share, whether it be cooking like me or singing like Petrina. Support comes naturally from our family. However, it comes from peers and colleagues, but that feeling can be a little different. Supporting my culinary peers to achieve their passions helped me to achieve mine. Just like in basketball, football, and soccer, we learn how to work as a team and support each other what one might lack, the others pick up and we succeed. Protect your passion and don't let anyone take away your sparkle. If I had listened to what others were saying when I first joined the culinary program, then I wouldn't be where I am today. Not everyone is going to become a doctor, lawyer, nor will everyone attend an Ivy League school. Act, as defined by the Oxford Dictionary states, to take action, do something. I plan to take what I've learned through my therapy, cooking, and dealing with depression and anxiety and show others, especially my generation and the generation following, that you might face setbacks at times, but it's up to you to take action and do something about it. Do not let it consume you. I let it consume me for a long time, but now I have control. In the future, I wish to offer culinary classes to teens as a mean of therapy. It worked for me, and it might work for someone else. If I can help change at least one person in my lifetime, I know that I would have made a difference. In order to give respect and show respect, we must respect ourselves first. I've learned to display this daily, although it took me some time to learn. As Lawrence Stern quotes, Respect for ourselves guides morals. Respect for others guides manners. In my day-to-day -day life, for those who truly know me will tell me my kindness goes a long way, but I will not let one take advantage of it. I do my best to help others in any way I can. At times, it can be just to listen. Other times, it can be to help explain the steps of how we create a dish or catch someone up on work who is out sick during the lesson. When I work with my fellow peers <laughs> and I see them succeed, I've done something right. When I lift their spirits, I know I've made a great accomplishment, and it lifts mine too. At times, it might be to bring samples of my food to share with my peers and teachers in other classes. Seeing the face, the smiles on their face when I bring them something unexpectedly brightens their day as well as mine. We all need to be encouraged every day. I have a great group of fellow culinary arts students, and we learn from each other 
encouraging each other to continue creating magnificent dishes. We have encouraged each other to apply to the top culinary schools, and some of us will continue together at Johnson & Wales. As Wolfgang Puck stated, cooking is like art, whether it's painting or writing a song. Just as there are only so many notes or colors, there are only so many flavors. It's how you combine them that sets you apart.